What's going on everyone? It's Adam here from No Shelf Space and today we're going to be unboxing and checking out Tomten. This one is from Fervent Workshop, a Swedish Christmas gnome known as Tomten is eager to bring joy and gifts during the holiday season. Each turn, play dice onto cards to complete holiday tasks, collect cards to accelerate your scoring at the end of the, as the end of the season approaches, culminating an exciting end game bonus as you win. Play competitively, cooperatively, or in a two versus two game. So it seems like there's a lot going on in this one, which is kind of cool. Really excited to check it out. 44 task cards, 8 unique player mats, 50 dice, 80 tokens, calendar board, and a rule book. Two to four players, 14 plus 30 to 60 minutes. Let's open this one up and uh, and see what it's all about. It's another day, and it's another day to apologize for a shaky camera because, well, I found my tripod. I left it in my wife's car because we took it to film my middle son's uh, Little Mermaid show. So it is uh, in the car, so I'm not going to be able to uh, give you a really nice, steady look at the game, but we're going to do it this way. There you go in the top corner, two to four players, 14 plus 30 to 60 minutes. I love the artwork here on the front of the box, all of the gnomes filling up the bear with the presents. Here's the back side of the box. Again, there is everything that comes in the box. Quick look at all the stuff. The blurb I read, a delightful family and friends, a delight family and friends by starting a new Christmas tradition. This one is coming to crowdfunding in October, I believe. So you'll be able to check that out uh, in just a couple months. But let's take the box off. Nothing on the inside of the lid, which is not abnormal. All right, here we go. We have a rule book and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and then a summary on the back. But I'm gonna guess this is all the rules for like the basic rules, the advanced play. So let's see here. If we're gonna look at the entire rule book, here's the setup for the basic rules game. And then the basic rules start up there on your turn. It gives some uh, colorful examples, which you always love to see uh, after you work a rest, ending the game. Okay, so the rules for like the basic game are after setup, you've got one, two, three, and just a little bit of rules because then you're getting into the basic cooperative objectives. You're getting into the advanced rule setup over there. So there's a lot going on here, um, but it doesn't look like it'll be overly complicated. All right, dice. I love games with dice, and these are actually really cool. Black with uh, like a gold pips, black and gold pips. There's nothing like crazy about them, but they do look, they do look really nice, especially when you compare them to like the cards here, like the look of these cards with the look of these dice. I actually really like that. That's really nice. All right, we have a big, big thing of cards, and uh, I'm gonna pause the video and uh, open it, and then we'll come back. All right, we got it open. Uh, we got player aids with basic rules, and advanced rules. And then on the back side, just more, if it's gonna focus, just some more information for the basic game and the advanced games. We've got the player mats, clan. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce this stuff. I don't know what all these little icons mean, but there's one, there's one, there you go. I think that's focusing, there we go. All these different clans. If you want to pause and read one, go right ahead. Like I said, I haven't played yet. But here's a, here's a look at all the different clans in the game. I love that there's so many. And it looks like everybody's going to have their own little player power, which I know some people like and some people don't. I love the art there, though. Look at that. Is it going to focus? Focus. Maybe not, but there you go. And then you have these. And I don't know what they call them, whether these are, like, contracts or what, but... There's a whole ton of these. There's the green. Um, we've got these green ones. We've got these blue ones. I'm making a big mess on my table, but I'm just kind of shuffling through so you guys can see. We got the blue, and then we got purple ones right here as well. Lots and lots of whatever these are, and then oh, some red or brown underneath that too. So lots of uh, lots of that going on, and we're gonna we're gonna clean up that big mess in a second. We've got what I'm going to guess are little player pieces, two of each color. Extra baggy. Ooh, a s nice. Okay. 
a little board, which I'm, oh, it's a calendar. I thought for a second it was just like a scoring board, but you can see the scoring is on the outside. But this is really nice. Look at that. Start here, then there's all the days of December. There's Christmas, and it goes into January, all the way to St. Nuts Day. Is that all like Hanukkah? Not Hanukkah. Um, interesting. I'm sure I'll learn a lot as I go about Swedish Christmas. Interesting. All right. That is everything you get in the box. And I know I made a big mess of it. Are these? Uh, oh, look at the art. There's art on the back of these. Is it all different? Oh, that's a clan card. There's the art on the back of a clan card. All right. These are not different, but there you go. Look at that. Cool. All right. That is everything you get in the box for Tom 10. A uh, big shout out to the designer and to uh, Fervent Workshop for sending over Tom 10 for me to review. This is just the unboxing. We're going to have more on this game coming soon, but uh, it is one that I'm definitely excited for, and I hope you will be as well. Again, coming to crowdfunding, I think sometime in October. And once we have a link, it'll be in the description box down below. Until next time, folks, thanks for watching, and we'll chat again real soon. Goodbye.